And then so that brings us to another product that we just started really kind of working on. And these are our 3D lenticular prints right here. Um, so what we're trying to do really is, you know, we're just supplying an alternative to the wall scroll, you know? Uh, something instead of just like a regular poster, um, but, you know, with some, some other kind of high quality kind of feature to it too. So this is the size of a standard poster. That's why it'll fit in any kind of standard frame. So 18 by 24. But because it's printed on the 3D lenticular kind of material and everything, it has the added feature of the depth. But it's like something that you can't like, you can't rip it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you could you could kind of roll it up and it's fine, you know. Uh, and so you know, for us to be able to get licenses for the first three that we're trying to do off of the last movie for Naruto, off of Attack on Titan, off of Free Iwatobi Swim Club, like those are like pretty major titles, you know what I mean? And so it kind of sets the tone of how, you know, what this could be. And it kind of shows, and you know, for the licensors themselves to see that, you know, this hasn't been done yet, then that means, yeah, man, like it's like, you know, particular stuff, that's not new. Hologram stuff, that's not new. The quality's a lot better. You know, and for it to be based on anime, that's something different too. So that's why uh, it's going to be a big move for us. This is going to be like really for like the rest of the year, I think. You know, because all this stuff already pretty much produced except for the Ninja Turtles and the DMC thing. But really, like this stuff right here, like uh, I could turn that around in a matter of months. You know, like these processes for these anime trexies for the Tiger and Bunny cosplay alpacas. Those are like a year, year and a half time, you know? But, you know, I hit up my contact over Funimation. I got, you know, concept design approval and assets in my hand within about a week. Hit, send it over, you know, just show the, the, uh, the uh, manufacturer what we wanted. They sent me a sample and I had everything, you know, I had this in my hands from start to finish in about 21 days. You know what I mean? And that's shipping to and from, like Asia back, you know what I mean? That's, uh, you know, filling out proposals, that's doing everything on the leg work. And so, you know, and this isn't even our final product. Like, I want there to be more detail, you know? Like, the head separated from the body, but I want the hair separated from the head. I want the, you know, I want the sword to be separated from the arm that's holding it. I want her scarf to be separated from everything else, too. You know, I really want a lot of detail in everything, man. And, um, and, and for, for us to be able to produce it, for it to be, like, sold at around $20, which is around the same price, like, you know, it'll be a big thing. And so we're looking to do probably about four, four different prints a month. So that means it's a constant kind of cycle of, you know, finding new titles, searching for new titles, developing more off of the same title. You know, well, there's a lot of room for us to do it. So that's why it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a big thing. It's going to keep us around for a long time. Have you seen more of these type of posters for like, especially when movies come out, especially for anime yep. movies or new series coming out? Yep. Or even in like Super Sentai series that come out in Japan, like where right Nadia this new Ninja thing coming out. So that would be great for that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised Saban or Bandai is in contact with you guys or do something like that for them. Yeah. This would be it's definitely like a collector's print or something. Yeah. And I mean, you know, um, it'll, it, it should kind of get there, you know what I mean? And it'll be dope. Yeah, if they contact us, perfect, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we did Naruto. We we're hopefully we're trying to time it to drop when they showed the movie. But like I said, like some of the some of the quality is not exactly there yet. That's why we asked them to redo it. And so I mean, it kind of shortens my timeline because because it's a movie, not the show. I have a shorter licensing period, but I'm confident we'll be able to flip it anyways. And it also just because you know the process is quicker, the materials are quicker, development is relatively nothing because it's really just using approved artwork and just showing them detailing what, what we want to see. Um, there's no 3D artists to pay, no concept designers to pay, there's no prototypes, to, you know, hardly any prototypes really paid for. Um, that's why we're not even just going to have to just stick with the mainstream ones, you know, we'll be able to hit like the smaller titles, you know, uh, and you know, we're I, I've been wanting to do something with like a Knights of Sidonia, um, that, right? That, that that goes direct on Netflix, right? And me and you know, and me and the guy over there, we've been going back and forth, just because he knows the product we produce. But for us to commit like a certain amount of money, a certain amount of quantities to something that 
that has views, but it doesn't have the same type of media as everything else, it always made me just be like, ah, it's just not the right thing yet, man. Like, just believe me when I tell you that I want to work on something with you, and I want to make something just because I know it deserves, like, some product, you know what I mean? Like, it really does deserve to be highlighted. Uh, but just the right type of product base didn't come along, but then this one right here is perfect. Like, we're cool with, like, you know, we're, we can do 3,000 of these, that's fine. You know, I'm at, I was hoping for, you know, if you can make it global, then totally, dude. Like, no problem at all. Uh, but it's got to be restricted to the U.S. and Canada. But I'm trying to just get a longer term just to give me, give me some more space. But all I'm saying is that that will allow me to get to older titles um, and just kind of some, you know, some smaller, more obscure, but that has a real loyal fan base. But if a show's just not big enough, then then a, fan, then a fan has almost zero chance of having any merchandise to support it. You know what I mean? Like, I love, uh, you ever watch Haiku? The volleyball one, right? So now they have, like, little figures. Now they have, like, you know, uh, like the Neandroids, and they also have, you know, all that stuff, too. But before, like, you know, if I saw, like, a little keychain thing, like, I'd buy it, I wouldn't even think twice. You know what I mean? Like, just because that's all I had in front of me, you know? So that's why I'm trying to create something that we could get in front of people that normally wouldn't have any merchandise to even buy. Even though that's just what they want, you know what I mean? Even if it's like a series from, you know, 2007 or something, I'll still do like a Beck Mongolian Chop Squad. I'll still do a big wind-up, you know what I mean? Just because I know there's still fandom for it, you know? And so uh, it'll just really be able to kind of rekindle the love for it. And it also, and if people see, okay, well, they're making a poster for it, so it must be something, then it might just add more viewership to it too, you know? So that's what we're really trying to do with this whole thing. Like a really, you know, uh, affordable alternative, um, something that's new, something high quality, um, something that is still special, uh, but something that, you know, we can you know, grow in a bunch of different areas, not just to stick with, like, the Death Notes and the Attack on Titans, because you know that's the ones that we can sell for sure. Like, we have a little bit of room to take a chance, which will kind of just show, you know, the real place that we want to be in the market, you know what I mean? Like, we want people to know that, look, man, like, we're not just, you know, we're not just picking titles, we're not just looking at what's popular or whatever, like, these are shows that we're watching. Like, I'm making this, you know, I'm making it because I wanted to make it, because, you know, I wanted to see something from that show, and if nobody else is doing it, then if I'm in the position to do it, it's perfect for us, you know? So, that's it, man. So, you know, and that's, uh, the Ninja Turtles, you see those at New York, uh, at Comic-Con? I yeah, okay, cool, man. So this is, you know, this is this is one of my real first projects with US Anime. Like before, like, you know, I got hired on just to do some sales and stuff. And then like a couple months after, they asked me to sit on some licensing meetings. And then, so this is one of the first titles. And so the concept designs that we kept on getting, kept on getting rejected, right? Um, so when we were walking into the next meeting, like, you know, I asked if it was cool for me to bring in another, you know, designer just for a third look. And that happened to be the look that, that Nickelodeon gravitated towards. But we were just trying to make an articulated figure out the classic turtle. But because Loyal Subjects was already coming out with theirs, because Kid Robot was about to drop theirs, um, they said, nah, man, like, you know, you have to give us something else. Just because we can't have that much of the same kind of product. Uh, so, you know, we asked them what they wanted. They said they always wanted to see, like, you know, heavy, heavier weapons. They just wanted to see, like, bigger weapons. You know what I mean? And so that's where we kind of jumped it off from. So, we gave them like different kinds of weapons, gave them souped up, but then, you know, that's, but then matched it with the uh, sensibility of if you have bigger weapons and you're just in bigger battles, if you're in bigger battles, you're gonna need bigger armor. And so that's where the armor came in. And then gave them the helmets, but then give it the shoga, and, you know, the samurai and shoga references and everything. And we had precedence to that because of the Cyber Samurai Turtles toys, because of TMNT3 when they went back in time and we played Samurais. So that covered our bases, you know what I mean? And it wasn't just like a design thing. It was just like, cool, man. Like, you know, we're able to really do it. It makes sense in the, in the actual franchise's history. So, uh, so you know, if you really look, like none of these guys, like there's there's two armor patterns and there's uh, and two base helmet kind of patterns. All of them have a different kind of horn ornament. But because of those two combinations, each of them have their unique like armor and helmet combination. So none of them are like, you know, can, can be the other guy. Like, uh, and then so, um, we're really just selling four turtles. Uh, we're hoping to retail them about $18.99. Uh, the head moves, 
the arms move in three places, the, hip, the legs go back and forth. You got your helmet, you got your shield, you got your weapon accessory, but plus each one of them comes with the shredder component. So he's the builder figure. So when you build, so when you buy all four, you know, then then you can complete the collection and create and create shredders. So we're just gonna break them down into head, body, legs, and cape. You know, and then uh, that'll be that. And so really, it is like five figures for less than eighty dollars. You know, five really high quality, really stylized, really worked on figures. You know, so I mean. We wanted them to be out already, but after New York, I had to redesign some of the shoulder parts. So we had to refabricate, resample. So there goes a couple months, you know? Um, so really, you know, even if we don't make it till summer, I'll still have enough time. And I know that the demand is out there, even just from buyer's reactions, even from Nickelodeon's reactions, and pretty much soft commitments on it, that, you know, it won't be a problem. Anymore. So 